Hello everyone, this is Christian speaking from Axway, happy gateway support. Today I will present you a configuration settings referring to the network and what affects API Gateway product. In my representation today I used API Gateway 762 Service Pack 3 having API Manager configured. The question for today is how important is the hostname resolution for API Gateway? As probably everyone knows, the hostname resolution is the way how operating system and applications that uses network translates the fully qualified domain name or simply said the hostname into IP and then using it for uh, transferring data, communication, and so on and so forth. So it is a translation. Why this is um, so important for our products? Why this is so important for communication in general between two machines? We can see in uh, certain situations, in certain contexts, in uh, our traces, in the logs of API Gateway, this type of messages. A host name resolved, a host name resolution resolved in five seconds. That means that the product took the host name and translated into an IP and then uses for communication in five seconds. From the industry standards point of view and from my point of view also, five seconds for this processing uh, and for this operation is uh, big time. And in case that you use a browser console, you may enable the web console in, uh, in browser and as you probably are familiar with uh, this waterfall representation, going to the network tab, you may see all the requests, all the responses and their time during the processing. You may see also in this representation that half of the time of this segment is it has been taken with the DNS, with DNS resolution. So when a software is asking to the DNS server to present who is this server.com, and the DNS server is getting back with the information and it took so much time, this could be an issue. I'll go back to the first page. Uh, another example of, uh, of fully qualified domain, domain name are uh, the well-known uh, REST, public REST repository that, that is uh, PetStore, PetStoreSwagger.io or other hosts. Okay. What we can do, where can we verify if our server or our communication items, servers, applications benefit of this uh, fully qualified domain name resolution? We have two options. The, the main option is to use this uh, communication um, tool existing in uh, also a Windows machine and Linux machines. Um, typing NSLOOKUP and the fully qualified domain name, you will have two outcomes. First, the server.com or your server, it is not recorded and you will see this message. It is not recorded in, in the um, domain name servers. Domain name servers, probably you, you are aware of uh, this information. Domain name server is the server, a single server in a local area network that is uh, assigned to the, ta to the task to translate the fully qualified domain name in the IPs and then communicate with other domain name servers in the, net, in the network and in the internet and to share this information. NSLOOKUP as a tool can be uh, also used and uh, it can be also providing the address, the IP. Here, uh, this IP is masked with uh, letters. It should be the IP here. And in this situation, 
the fully qualified domain name is it found in domain name server of course ns lookup can be used uh, against the ip so this is the other way that can be used so here it was used about the host name and it can be used against the ip and in this situation he will um, provide the name of the server the fully qualified domain name of the server so this is the first way and from my point of view for uh, let's say uh, mid-size or large area networks uh, or um, corporate domains or corporate networks this is the standard way how the fully qualified domain name uh, is translated using the DNS using the domain name server there are situations in our activity when we are working in a small uh, local area network we are working let's say home with our laptop and we do not benefit of um, of this uh, DNS of the presence of the DNS and now comes the second way that the hostname resolution can be achieved so the second way is the second way is using the um, um, local uh, network configuration file etc hosts this uh, file exists also in um, windows machine as well as in the linux machines in the linux machine this is the path ATC. On the Windows machines, the path is Windows System 32 folder and then drivers ATC. This is a sample of uh, ATC host file. What, is, what this file um, tells us is uh, the way how a line or a server is correctly defined because it's very important to be correctly defined. How can be correctly defined? On the first position must be the IP address on the second position could be fully qualified domain name but this can uh, exist or not it is mandatory to have the short host name or the host name on the, on the latest position so this is the right order for this definition why this local server local configuration uh, file is important I will repeat in the situation when a DNS server um, is not available to translate our um, uh, host names and we would want to use host name instead of IPs we can use this local definition and in this way our API gateway or our application servers can communicate with another servers easily Here is the continuation of this file. This is the definition of the loop back address 12701 for localhost, um, some special addresses for IPv6, and so on and so forth. I will present a sample of the ATC host. So, as you can see, uh, this is uh, the localhost for 127001. This is the loop back address. It should not be touched by anyone. I commented out. Uh, the definition of IPv6 of localhost because particularly I am not uh, using uh, I'm, I'm not using uh, IPv6 definition uh, with, uh, with my testing and then line by line you will see the definition of the host name for each server I use the first server is this one saying that this is a backend server this is the IP of course uh, instead of those letters you have to uh, real IP this is the fully qualified domain name of my server and then the host name of the server on the on that line uh, this LDAP server uh, there is a typo this one should not exist so you can append this file to as many host definitions as you wish in my situation, I use a backend server and the LDAP server. So this also should be an IP, not those letters, should be a real IP. And this is the fully qualified one of this LDAP server and then the host name. The next context is how API Gateway uses this resolution, this host name resolution. Why is this important for API Gateway? I will show you right now. 
So these are some some simulations. There are some cores. I'll use one. So here you are. I have uh, virtualized the pet store REST application and I have run a request against this mytestcompany.com server. Actually, the call is this one and there's an interrogation to the user, uh, get user by name. And as you can see, instead of using the IP, I put after virtualization, I put the uh, fully qualified domain name of my server, mytestserver.company.com and the API Gateway took this request and forward to petstoreswagger.io and then it is processed. So, and if I, uh, I would like to, to count that, I will be able to see the number of uh, milliseconds of seconds took for this uh, this request to be completed. So this is the way how uh, API Gateway uses uh, this uh, hostname resolution. As a um, sorry cap, I will um, recommend you to use this tool NS Lookup against the IP of your server or against of the fully qualified domain name of your server or your host name to see the results or in case that you do not benefit of this and you are facing with big times in DNS uh, research uh, or in uh, DNS resolution time you may benefit of uh, the existence of the uh, local configuration uh, file for network which is uh, ATC hosts I will recommend you in your application, in your configuration, in your testing, to avoid using localhost or 127001, the loopback address, when you are configuring endpoints or communication partners, and to use instead the hostname with previous setup or fully qualified domain, or the safest measure is the IP. So today we have approach. How important is the hostname resolution for API Gateway? This is Christian uh, speaking from Axway, API Gateway support. Thank you very much for your time watching this material. And see you next time.